So we get so many comments from people thinking that we own a very new, very expensive RV, and that couldn't be further from the truth. This RV is nearly 20 years old, and we have had a ton of surprises finding out some things about owning an older RV. We're gonna share it in this video. You're gonna wanna stay tuned. So in 2016, we bought our first RV and we set off to live a life of travel and really prioritize experiences over things. We've learned a ton along the way. We've had some fails as well. So we share all about that on this channel so we can help you in the RV community or the aspiring RVer to kind of know what to do, what not to do, great places to visit, great food. You wanna hit the subscribe button if that sounds like something that you're interested in. One of the reasons that we chose to buy used, and actually here's a little interesting story. Our very first RV that we bought, it was 20 years old when we purchased it. It wasn't this one, it was a different one. Really the reason that we did that is because we wanted to jump into this lifestyle sooner versus later. We were not in a situation where we could just sell it all and go full time. And so we needed something that was going to be affordable and that we could start small, but start immediately. And so by purchasing used and something that was a little bit older, basically RV life came into reach where it would have been way out of reach for years and years because we started small. We started with something older that we could pay cash for to get started and, and jump in right away. So we did that for about a year. And then we realized that that RV for our family and for our family size just wasn't working and we needed something different. We took another year to save some money to be able to purchase the RV you see behind me here. And this is the RV that we have had ever since. So we've had this thing for close to five years now. One of the biggest kind of, I guess, objections that people always ask about or tell us about when we talk about purchasing an older used RV is something that is known as the 10 year rule. I think that sometimes I see a 15 year rule or whatever, but really what that is, is that there are some RV parks that will state in their rules that if you have an RV that is older than 10 years or older than 15 years, that they don't allow that RV into their campground. Now we have never ever been turned away because of the age of our RV. Campground owners wanna keep older RVs RVs out just because sometimes they can be in poor repair, they can be in poor shape. The way we've always been able to get around this rule whenever we have encountered it, which is fairly seldom, is to basically just be able to take a current photo of our RV and also explain that it is impeccably maintained. It has no leaks, no problems of any kind at all. Send that to the campground owner and we've been able to stay in any park that we've ever really wanted to. We also did encounter one particular park where they had kind of this age limitation. It wasn't really clearly delineated as far as the year, but what they asked is that you would stop and check in just so that the campground manager had a chance to see that yes, your RV was in good shape. It wasn't falling apart or anything like that that could potentially cause damage to the campground. One thing that we have noticed being out traveling is the fact it is getting harder to book a spot in some of the most popular campgrounds in the the US, including state parks, national parks, and other RV campgrounds in popular areas. So a hack we've been using and loving for RV life is using RV that books campgrounds for us. We've been able to score some near impossible campsite reservations because RV's actually booking them for us. And with the annual plan, RV scans for cancellations every two minutes, finds those cancellations, and then makes the reservation for us. We've been seeing more and more alert services pop up that are charging more than RV, but only monitor sold out campgrounds. And I can't tell you how many times that I've used these services in the past only to get the alert when we're out and about exploring. By the time I get back to my computer, well, somebody already snagged that reservation. That's why we switched to using RV instead and we get more bang for our buck and it includes RV's full travel agency booking services where they'll actually make the cancellation for me if for some reason I need to cancel a reservation that I made through the RV service. We have partnered with RV for a 10% discount for our viewers. Now, this is an exclusive discount for Grateful Glamper viewers. So you can head to gratefulglamper.com forward slash RV to get your discount. And a huge thanks to RV for sponsoring this video and their support of our channel. One of the things that has been a pleasant 
surprise is actually from a cost of ownership perspective. So one of the things that has happened for us with owning a nearly 20 year old RV is that our cost of ownership is actually lower than if we had purchased something that was new. And part of that is in part to the fact that the emission system on our RV being a little bit older is pre-def. So basically what that means is the system's just not as complicated and it doesn't require as much as far as we don't have to add def fluid. So that's less of a cost for us. It's also less of a headache from a maintenance perspective too, where we don't have those extra systems on the RV. So there's really just less to go wrong. Something else about having a 20 year old motor home that has been somewhat surprising, but it's also a pros and cons type of situation. In our storage compartments, we are unable to have the pass through storage type of compartments. Now, why that is not exactly ideal from a storage perspective and from a space perspective, the one thing that that actually does provide because of how things are set up is it actually gives us a little bit more of a weight capacity. So we literally have never, ever had to worry about weight. We could travel with full water tanks, full waste tanks. We can load this thing to the gills. We've stopped by several cat scales when we have been completely fully loaded and we still have room to spare from a weight perspective. As far as weight goes, one of the advantages of having this nearly 20 year old motorhome is we literally never have to worry about are we overweight. So something else that we found that's happened is that when we do need to work on things and we have chosen to educate ourselves and learn how to work on things ourselves on our RV, it's actually not that bad because with having a nearly 20 year old motorhome, the systems are much simpler than on some of the newer RVs, but that doesn't mean we're sacrificing anything when it comes to smart technology or having a smart RV. And I'm gonna take you inside and show you why. Can we come in? No, we're coming in, you need to move. So we have made a ton of upgrades and renovations inside of this RV. And since it's nearly 20 years old, we don't have any qualms in doing so because it's not hurting anything as far as values or anything like that is concerned. So you'll have to let me know so far, what do you think, new or used? I'd love to hear in the comments below what you think is the best way to buy an RV. One of the smart upgrades that we have made to our RV is our micro air thermostat, which is right up here. Basically, this is great because we can see what the temperature is in the RV from other places. I can change it right here on my phone. I will get alert from the thermostat to my phone if the temperature goes beyond a certain threshold, which is great for the pets that are in here. That's one of the smart things that we added into the RV to make our RV very, very smart. Another thing is this particular internet setup, which really is kind of like the ultimate RV internet setup. I'll put a link right up here for a video we did on the setup if you want more information on that itself also have the link in the description for that another surprising thing is when it comes to making these types of mods and upgrades with an older motorhome one of the things that we found out is it's pretty simple but the construction of an older rv like this is just really amazing when you start to see how well it's constructed, the materials that it's constructed with. A lot of newer RVs have been so problematic because RV manufacturers have kind of had to cheap out on a lot of the materials that they're using. And some of that is just because of availability of said materials. One of the things that you do find with an older motor home, and one of the reasons we chose an older motor home, in addition to the affordability, is just for the better build quality where everything is just that much more solid in how it's put together. So another thing we've done to make the RV super smart. Now, these are features that you would find in a brand new RV, but hey, ours is 20 years old, but we can add those things too. So things like USB outlet, converting the fridge over to run off of 12 volt electricity, even solar, we have it all in a 20 year old RV. A question that we always get, or when we talk to people that are considering jumping into this lifestyle, purchasing news versus used, 
the big things always about the warranty. Well, I want a warranty with my RV. I don't want to have to worry about making repairs if something goes wrong. Now, let me just tell you a little side note about that. We've got a lot of friends that we are connected with in the RV community, great friends that have recently even purchased new RVs and within weeks they're having some major problems. Even my parents who are full-time bought a brand new RV and I cannot even begin to tell you the nightmares and the laundry list of things that happened within those first few weeks and months. So warranty work, right? It's under warranty. We're just gonna have it fixed under warranty. That is also another huge headache in and of itself because RV dealerships are backed up. So many people actually end up driving their rig back to the manufacturer, mostly in Elkhart or in Alabama, even to get the warranty work done in a timely manner. So now you've incurred the cost for fuel and time and all of those other things to get your free warranty work done with a nearly 20 year old RV. If something goes wrong, when something goes wrong, it's really more a question of when versus if we're able to either a fix it ourselves. We're not worried about voiding any warranty with anything that we do, but also if for some reason it is something where we've realized we are beyond our capabilities, we're in over our heads. Well, we can call an RV tech and they can come usually next day or the day after. So we are not at the mercy of the warranty and waiting for warranty work to be done. Something to consider if you're thinking about jumping into this lifestyle, pros and cons, new versus used. I'm gonna put a video right up here with kind of our full renovation. You can take a look at everything that we have done where this 20 year old motorhome certainly does not feel 20 years old. If we don't see you out on the road or around the campground, we'll see you in the next video.